hello guys welcome back to the next video and in this video let's discuss about the so what i'm doing is i'm just creating some space and uh, i want to discuss about the um checkbox so checklist right over here that's how they are mentioned so checklist is this and it is very very simple and similar to this right so we can just specify the options um, over here right and we can say value we can uh, specify two values or one value in case of one value we don't need to specify the list but let's say we want two values so sf and nyc by default to be selected that's pretty much it what you need to do to have it so if i execute this um, um what it is saying uh, unexpected keyword keyword argument value over here so values if you go down it will show you values if I go ahead and execute it and execute this, then I work. That is this. So by default, New York City, and this is this. But if you see an interesting thing, I'm not able to select this. You know why, right? Because we have said disable is equals to true. So let me interrupt the kernel for a moment and remove this. Ah, I'm having issues with my mouse. All right, good. Execute it, execute it, and come back. Now this is enabled. So another way I've just shown you how you can disable a particular option. So this is something which you can create uh, within your application um, by using the option DCC dot checklist. Again, it has a lot of different options. I have already uh, talked about some of the options when I talked about the drop down, which was one of the very first video we have covered um for the uh dash core components so uh, I, i'm just thinking that probably repeating it again and again will, will kind of uh, bore you so i'm not repeating it but if you're interested i mean you can simply um go to dash dot plotly dot ly and it will basically show you all of these core components dash core components and uh, you can basically go into the documentation and see about particular uh, input or the argument as an input that you are looking for. So that's how you can uh, create a checkbox very simply uh, within the within the uh, dash. And uh, that's pretty much it. And I will meet you in the new video on the topic.